He said direct gunshots to the head, allegedly from silenced pistols. The aftermath seems to confirm the story. Pillows with bullet holes, fold-out chairs covered in blood. The targets did seem to be sleeping when the attack took place. And this is where things start getting murky because what happened here sounds like an assassination. Not a raid to capture, but to kill. It gets worse when you hear the details. The raid did not take place in the Hamas-controlled Gaza Strip. It was in the West Bank. In the Ibn Sina Hospital in Jenin, which is technically Palestinian territory, but under Israeli control. So no Hamas tunnels under this hospital. This is where Israel conducted the strikes. Now let's look at the targets. The prime target was Mohammed Jalamna. He was a member of Hamas and Hamas has confirmed this. Israel says he was planning an attack inspired by October 7th. He also apparently had a pistol with him, which Israel says they have recovered. But the hospital staff denies that he had a weapon. And they say the target was shot while he was sleeping. So is Israel suggesting that the commandos could not disarm and arrest a sleeping man? Then there are two other targets. The brothers, Basil and Mohammed Al-Ghazawi. They were also members of a militant group. The Palestine Islamic Jihad was there watching over him that night. Did they really have to shoot dead this half-paralyzed man? It was clearly a planned assassination and that too at a hospital, which is a war crime. There is no other way to put it. The International Committee of the Red Cross seems to agree. They put this up today, saying that hospitals are off limits. And despite all of this, Israel's Western allies have not batted an eye. Usually, they're the first to denounce war crimes unless they are the ones committing them, of course. Again, uh, not able to offer an assessment without knowing all these facts. I said some of the facts that have been presented by Israel are that one of them was carrying a gun and that they were planning to carry out or to launch terrorist operations. So you would have to look at all of those facts to make a specific assessment about this operation. But in general, we do want to see hospitals protected. It is important that no civilians